we will tell you why you are afraid and why you are not. This is one of the first great lessons that I was taught in my journey, having connected with Toth and learned to enter his temple. I have not been given permission to emphasize this in any of my teachings until now. It's time. And with this, I give you Toth. You have been resisting the pull of the calling that leads you deeper. It is likely that you are blaming yourself for this. In some ways, I want you to. I want you to accept how much power you really have. And in order to do this, you must recognize that some of the patterns you've been struggling with really are up to you to change. Yet I do not judge you in the ways you may fear. This is you. It is most likely that you are trapped between a pattern of owning too little responsibility for what you are and being too aggressive in effort to defend and assert what you are. The truth lies in between these extremes. And today, we will take you right through the middle. Appreciate this. As you gain the ability to trust yourself, you embody the spirit of a new way. Consider that you are presencing, bringing to life the energy of a way of being that does not yet exist. Into the environment you share with others, a force is flowing. It is a spiritual presence Initially, it is not recognized. Over time, it has more influence, and yet it exists on planes that most around you ignore. Yet it is unsettling them. It is shaking the roots. It is shifting the patterns that they know is normal. They do not recognize this presence yet. If they learn what is happening too quickly, they will misunderstand it and blame you. As it is, they are likely to make the connection that it is your presence that is changing what they know to be real. This is where you must rest. It is your job to bring the new life into the world. As you do, you are undermining the music of the way that has been. You are a destroyer of what was. And yet, this very word may mislead you. Your desire to destroy what was is natural and righteous. We are calling you to tear down the way things were. And yet, if you misunderstand this responsibility, you will fail. When you focus on something, if you allow it to be the dominant theme in your awareness, you will create reality in relation to that. If you understand yourself primarily as the destroyer of what has been, you will never escape an understanding of yourself in relation to what has been. 
to perform the role that you are called to embody. You must stay centered in the new way. By refusing to fight by the old rules, you will win far more effectively and gracefully. Winning is not the goal. It is the sweeping of the floor. It is the clearing of the field. It is the preparation of the soil. It is a task and we are urging you to undertake it with as simple a mind as you can. Do not drown in what was. Do not drown in what has been. You are invited to clearly distinguish your presence as a new way of being. Center in it and return to it as often as you find yourself adrift. By claiming the center in yourself, you are bringing this new way of life into the world. It is the presence of the new way that unsettles the past. This is a task. It is the clearing of the forest before new growth may sprout. It is the elimination of that which does not know how to be present in the new world. It is in many ways a time of grieving. It is sad that you must end one way. To refuse to grieve is to refuse to see what is leaving for what it is. There is nothing out of place in this process. All is as it has needed to be. The time for this ending is here and to play the role that you are invited to play is to be the musician of a new way of life. It is with this grace that you undermine the violences of the past. It is with this resolve that you maintain your presence in the vibrancy of fresh spirit. It is in this resilience that you draw yourself away from the past and refuse to gloat or harbor resentments against that which has been. All ways of life seek to sustain themselves. There is nothing unnatural in the life force of the old ways, wishing that it was not time for it to die. To see this as it is, is to be humble in relationship to that which you are becoming and that which has been. To offer this respect to the past is to see beneath the surface and the obvious of what you confront. For those forces that have led history in the course that it has taken have been both noble and wise. They have understood the rules by which they operate. They have known the force that moves through them and the course that it takes as it traverses humanity and history itself. That which you confront beneath the surface, that which you confront beyond what may look like an enemy, is of love. It is of the earth herself, and as it dies in witnessing it for what it is, you offer the respect that is necessary for it to leave. If you do not choose to accept this responsibility, you will lag 
behind. You will not be invited to channel the spirit of the new way, for you will not be capable of embodying it with the true grace that is necessary to destroy that which has been. In this humility, you allow life to move through you. You will resist the urge to charge towards that which you seek to confront. You will refuse to embody a reflection of the forces of the past, which are nothing less than the same thing. A polarized mind will not remain centered in the oneness that you are invited to be. For it is only in the rainbow that you will exist with the presence to channel the life that will end the past. It is only in the crystalline consciousness of this that you will know yourself as part of a way of life that will last for thousands of years. In this attunement, you will be shown what it feels like. You will feel what it looks like. You will sing what it is. And as you embody this grace, the task of clearing the fields will be this much easier. For the fields of life that have been dominated by his story need cleansing. And this cleansing must be as natural and graceful as it can be if it will remain committed and connected to the way of life that is being born. For it is in the birth of this way of life through you that the old ways are cleared. It is in the channeling of the spirit of the new world that you will become part of this new world. And you may not embody this grace if you are not willing to accept the true consequence of your presence. For this will challenge you to be that which others fear. This will challenge you to remain centered as others see their terror in your presence. They will largely be projecting upon you. And you must learn to bear these projections with grace and the strength of presence that will change them. You will take these projections and transmute them into pure life of the new way. It is in this seizing of their presence that you destroy that which has been. They will increasingly come to you to end themselves. And if you do not see much beyond what has come to you, you will not recognize this process for what it is. For there is a wisdom, a spiritual presence that has guided history, that is sending its minions to you. It is not sending these beings to you to end you. It is sending them to you to end them. For this wisdom knows that its time has come. The intelligence beneath the patterns that have guided history is a spiritual presence. It is conscious. They are living beings who know exactly what they are and exactly that their time has come. In deep respect, recognize that you are in this position because you are capable of remaining strong in the face of the division that you bring. For you're dividing the past from the future. You are dividing that which has been from that which will be. And the strength of this is no small matter. Allow yourself to materialize.
crystalline light in the new world and offer your strength in service. Please consider the amazing range of people who are drawn to this calling. We gather weekly Tuesdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, live on YouTube. Join us. Click that bell. Much love. Be with you and your families.